Active Directory, Chapter 5, Part 9, Creating Groups with Different Scopes. So what we're going to do is look at the different scopes of security groups. Here's my test organizational unit. And here's my different security groups. You can look at the properties I made for each one. So there's domain, local. Two of them are domain, local. Two of them are universal. And the way you make a new one is you right click on your test of you make a new group. You can select the group scope and the group type. You give it a name. Anyway, we're going to select group 1G. And we'll get its properties on the general tab. Okay, in the group scope section, notice that the domain local option is disabled because converting from a global to a domain local group isn't allowed. Go to the members tab. And we click add. So we can add a group to it. Group 2G. Check names. Yeah, we can add that to it. So we just added group 2 global to group 1 global. Now we'll go try and add another group. We'll click, uh, let's see, we'll try a group. One domain local. It can't find it. It's a name not found message pops up. It's because domain local groups can't be members of global groups. And cancel that. Now go group one DL check names cancel advanced. go to find now. Okay, Active Directory displays only valid objects that can be made a group member, so no domain, local, or universal groups are listed. Alright, so in this list, list there's no domain, local groups available. I'll just click OK. Cancel out of that. Okay, we'll go to group 2G. Go to its properties. In the group scope section, click the universal option button. And then click OK. We'll get an error message. The following Active Directory domain services error occurred. A global group cannot have a universal group as a member. because group 2G is just a member of group 1G so attempting to convert it to a universal group violates that rule. So we'll cancel out of that. Now we're going to click 1DL domain local group. Open its properties. Okay, in the group scope section the global option is disabled because you can't Convert domain local group to a global group. And click the members tab and click add. Try to add group 1G. Check 
names, throws an error, adding a global group as a member of a domain local group. Okay. Let's see, I misspelled it. Okay, so yeah, this will work. Adding a global group as a member of a domain local group is in line with the AGDLP best practice. So we just added that. Now we're going to click on group when you go to its properties, add group to you as a member. Okay, so we had to group two you to group one you. Now we'll click on group two you, open its properties, the group scope section. We're going to click domain local and then click OK. Get an error message following a directory domain error occurred. A local group can only be a member of other local groups in the same domain. So it uh, enforces the rule that universal groups can be converted to domain local groups even if they aren't already a member of another universal group. So we'll cancel that. And then we'll click group 1U. Try to add group 1DL as a member. Group 1-DL. And it doesn't find it. A nesting domain local groups in universal groups isn't permitted. Add group 1G as a member. Add group one global to one universal. So you can add a global group to a universal group. So that's a quick demonstration of the different permissions you have with scopes in Active Directory.